Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be reviewing the new Benefit Cheek Leaders palettes, which are new for their spring 2019 collection. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these, then just keep watching. So every year, Benefit has been coming out with these really big, very good value face palettes, and I've picked them up from the previous two years. So this year, they came out with two, which is new for them, and you guys know I had to pick them up so that I could compare them for you guys. I mean, it's really a tradition that I pick these up because I love them. I think they're such a great value, and I just want a fresh one every year. So before I go into the nitty gritty on this palette, let's talk about the major details. So they will be available February 26th online at BenefitCosmetics.com as well as March 1st is when they will be available in store. I don't see a price right now, but I'm going to assume they're going to be $58, which is how much the palette cost last year. Now, if you aren't aware, these palettes contain five full-size products from the Benefit line. There's some sort of variation between blush, bronzer, and highlight, so this is actually a 145 value that you are getting for $58. I'm not going to talk about the quality too much because I just want to let you know up front that the quality of these are great. They're consistent with the regular box formula as well as the other palettes in the past. So blendability is very good. It applies very smoothly, lasts a long time, just overall really good quality. I'm more so going to be talking about the colors and how they worked for me. And just so you know, these do have a scent. It's a very pleasant scent. I can't really describe it, but I love it. It's almost like a really good smelling lotion. I don't know. You're going to have to go in stores and smell it for yourself because I do not know how to describe scents, but it's very pleasant. I love so, it. The two palettes that they came out with were the Bronze Squad and the pink squad. Essentially, bronze squad is supposed to give you a nice bronzy look, and the pink squad is going to give you a nice pinky look. So let's take a deeper look into the bronze squad palette. So obviously, this has more of a deeper pink packaging to it. Really cute. The cheerleaders on the front. Benefit always does a banging job with their packaging. So once you open it up, you actually do get a good size mirror and a little pull-out guide on the top. D does anybody actually use these? I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, you are going to reveal the five shades. You're getting two bronzers, two blushes, and one highlight in this palette, as well as a brush. And this is the only product in the world, I swear, that actually comes out with a useful brush. This is really good for contouring, especially the nose as well, and right underneath the cheekbones. I actually do really like this brush. So in the overall palette, the swatches are on the top side of my arm. The bottom, of course, is the pink squad, just so you can compare them. Do so have Gold Rush Blush, Cookie Highlighter, Hula Caramel Bronzer, Original Hula Bronzer, and Coralista blush. Now there's two new products in this palette that were not in the regular Benefit line before. So first we have Cookie, which is the highlighter. It's a brand new highlighter formula. It is a palette exclusive to this, as well as the new mini palette, which I will talk about. So you can only get this highlighter in this palette or the mini one. And then we have Hula Caramel, which is a deeper bronzer, the darker version of Hula, which I think is lovely that they came out with. This is going to be sold individually, so if you do just want to purchase the deeper bronzer, you do have the option. The other three, Gold Rush, Hula, and Coralie Star, are all in their regular line. So Hula Caramel, I do want to talk about that for a second. That is a new deeper shade that they made. They have Hula Light. It was only a matter of time before they made a deeper Hula shade. Clearly, I am very fair. So I can't speak on how well the shade is going to work on medium to deeper skin tones. I can only speak on my experiences until I have a chance to try it on somebody of a different skin tone than myself. So I don't want to talk about it too much on that, but I will say this is kind of a strange color to me. It's almost very yellowy orange. It reminds me of a very camel color. It's almost camel, which is very beautiful on the crease. It's actually what I used on my transition today. But on the face for me, I'm just going to tell you right now, I personally didn't like it on me. It is usable, so if you are fair and you do want to get this palette and you do want to use the bronzer, you like get some use out of it, I would say use it as a transition shade or a crease color, but you can get it to work on your skin as I did. But I feel like the undertone of it is very weird. It's very yellow and I just didn't like the way that it looked on me. But like I said, I don't want to talk about somebody with a more medium to deep complexion. If you've tried it out, please let me know down below how it worked on you to help each other out. And of course, if you don't like that, there is Hula in this specific palette as well. I'm not going to talk about it just because I used it in the next palette, so I'm just going to skip through Hula, but Hula is a classic, so 
The first blush that I applied was Coralista. This is actually the first time I've tried Coralista from that line. It is a pretty classic blush for Benefit. I've heard about it for forever. It has a slight sheen to it. It's very light. I did have to kind of build it up a little bit, but it's a really pretty peachy blush. And then I used Gold Rush. Now there is a bit of a golden film over it that you are going to have to kind of take that spray over off before you can get to the actual color. I will say Gold Rush is not my favorite blush. I have a very difficult time getting it to show up on my skin. This is what I would consider a blush for a very fair person, which is very interesting because they put Gold Rush with the Hula Carmo, which I would think somebody with a deeper skin tone would want to pick up. But you have Gold Rush, which isn't really going to show up. It's not very pigmented. It's just for somebody who's very fair, who doesn't really like blush and is scared of blush. That's who I would recommend Gold Rush to. But honestly, I'm not really into Gold Rush. I like Coralisa, but that still is also very light. And then finally, we have the Cookie Highlighter. And you guys, this highlighter is amazing. I loved it. Uh, it's a very smooth and buttery formula and for the first time I feel like I understood when people said my skin looks like glass. This is the first time I'm describing a highlighter up like that. This highlighter makes my skin look like glass. It blends into the skin. It goes into the skin. It doesn't stay on the skin. Benefit did such a great job with this highlighter formula. Honestly, it's so buttery smooth, so beautiful. Again, what I do find interesting is they paired it with the darkest bronzer, but this isn't even the darkest highlight. This highlight's very light, so it's going to be beaming on somebody with a lighter skin tone. I think that's who it's going to be more flattering on because I can see this being a bit much if you are deeper. Now, if you don't want to spend the $58 on this palette, you can actually get the Mini Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad Palette, which is $30. That's actually available online at Benefit right now, which I will link down below. Now, that only has the Hula Bronzer, Gold Rush Blush, and Cookie Highlighter. So I would say this would be for somebody more of with more of a lighter skin tone because you are getting that Gold Rush Blush that I'm personally just not crazy about. And you're getting this really light highlighter, which I love. But just for my personal recommendation, if you aren't interested in investing in this really large palette, spend $30 and just get the little mini one. Now it's going to have smaller pan sizes, it's not going to be this large, but get the mini one so you can try this formula, as well as you can never have too many hulas in my opinion. But overall, I like this, it's, it's nice. So let's take a look into the Cheek Leaders Pink Squad palette. As you can see, much brighter, pinky, eastery, springy packaging. This one is way cuter packaging if you ask me. You have the same mirror and little pulley outy thingy. <laughs> and then so for this one, the swatches are at the bottom. You're getting California Blush, Tickle Highlighter, Hula Bronzer, Dandelion Blush, and Dallas Blush. So there's only one new product in this palette and that is Tickle Highlighter. The rest you can get in their regular line. So this is the palette that's actually on my face today. So I started off, of course, with Hula Bronzer just as an all over bronzer bronzy color. If you haven't tried Hula before, you need to. They have Hula in every one of their blush palettes, which I'm okay with because Hula is like one of the most amazing bronzers because you can use it to bronze and contour. It's a very neutral tone. So if you just use a big fluffy brush that warms up the face, and then if you use a little bit more of a precise brush and build a little bit, it's really great for chiseling out your face as well. I have it as my nose contour today. It's just a really good universal color and it works on so many different skin tones. So Hula's great. You can never have too many Hulas in my opinion. So on this cheek, I started off with Dallas. Now I had actually never used Dallas before. When I saw it, I thought it was a bronzer to be honest. Now you can use this as kind of a bronzer blush because it is a little bit more pinky, which if you put that all over your face, in my opinion, isn't that flattering as a bronzer. But if you're not into a bright blush, I think you would really like Dallas because I kind of put that on the lower part of my cheek to blend in with my bronzer and that just works perfect. That's just kind of a blush bronzer if you me. Really pretty. I really like it. I actually think this is going to be really good for medium to deep skin tones. I think you will really like that shade. On this cheek, I actually use Dandelion Blush, which I love Dandelion. It's actually described as a brightening face powder, but I like it as a blush on my fair skin. I think it's there's something so soft and romantic about that blush. It looks very, very fair, but it's actually really subtle and pretty, but it's still pigmented that it shows up. It's way more pigmented than Gold Rush. Dandelion is definitely one of my favorite blushes to begin with. 
like really pretty soft pink blush. And then you have California. I really do like California. That has a golden overspray on it when it's new. Just kind of take your brush and get that off. And then it's actually a really pretty bright pinky coral blush. I love a bright blush, so I'm really happy that they have California in there. And I applied that kind of to the apples of my cheeks to brighten everything up. So California is that great brightening blush that I felt like this palette really, really needed. And then we have Tickle. Now, I was really worried about Tickle because I thought it would be too deep of a highlight on me. And I'm here to tell you now that it's really not. It doesn't leave a cast on my cheekbones. However, it is very 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 gold it's the exact same formula as the other highlighter cookie and the other palette so creamy such a good quality highlighter i think this is going to be very very flattering on medium skin tones but if you're a lighter you can definitely make it work i have that all over my lid as well such a smooth buttery formula i'm really digging this highlighting formula so i'm loving tickle but i like cookie more but i think tickle is more flattering for more medium to deep skin tones this palette also has the pink squad mini version of it for 30 dollars, and in that you're getting dandelion blush california blush and tickle highlighter so if you're interested in these three shades there is a cheaper option for just 30 dollars for these three so really quickly i did kind of want to compare what was in last year's palette to this year just so you can know if there's going to be any repeats i'm not going to talk about the one from two years ago because that's supposed to be expired <laughs> all right so the blush bar palette looks like this just in case you're curious very pinky i really liked the one from last year from the bronze squad the repeats you're getting are hula and gold rush so just these two are repeats, which makes me sad because you guys know I don't like Gold Rush. But of course, Hula is always going to be repeated. So you're only getting two that are repeats. And from the Pink Squad, you're actually getting three repeats, which are Dandelion, California, and Hula. And you guys know I do love these three. So they're not repeating any that I don't like. But that's three of the five that are repeated from last year. So I really don't know why they did that and not to mention one of them you can actually get individually as well so I'm not gonna lie if you have the palette from last year I really don't think you need the pink squad but if you do want to get tickle I would recommend getting that $30 mini squad palette because you can get it that's just my personal thought I think if you have the palette from last year you don't need this but I really like I love big pinky blush but if you have the one from last year i think you can definitely pick up the bronze squad at least if you're interested in purchasing them also something that i wanted to mention online when i saw the two palettes next to each other i instantly assumed that the bronze squad was going to be for somebody of a deeper complexion because they have the deeper bronzer now after playing with the palettes I actually decided that the Bronze Squad palette itself is more suited towards lighter skin tones, which is kind of upsetting because, listen, you have the darker highlighter and the darker blushes in the Pink Squad palette, and you have the lighter highlighters and the lighter blushes in the Bronze Squad palette. So in my opinion, to really make this very simple for you guys to choose from, and I think Benefit should have taken the Hula Caramel and had switched it in with Dandelion. Let me just give you my theory. So imagine Dandelion's Hula Caramel. First of all, that's an even bronzier palette because you're getting Dallas and Hula, which are already bronzy colors, and you're also getting a darker blush and a darker highlight. I think that would have been much more friendly towards deeper skin tones. And if you had a lighter skin tone and this was Dandelion, you would have had the perfect pink palette with an appropriate bronzer. That's just my opinion. I think by switching those two colors, it would have just made a lot more sense to everybody. Like, I don't know, let me know your opinions. I can't be the only one that thinks that. So let's just round up my thoughts here. Overall, amazing quality. Once again, the highlighter formula, you did a good job, Benefit. If you have the one from last year, I don't think you need the pink palette. Instead of buying this, I would recommend that you just buy the mini version of it so you can try out this formula. Honestly, I don't know. I think I might like the bronze squad better because I like these two a lot. I don't know. I like them both kind of the same, but I like the cookie highlighter. That's like my favorite thing of both of these palettes. I just feel like if I could mix and match these, I would get the most perfect palette, but there's things in each palette that I would prefer would be different. But overall, super good. Look into the little mini palettes if you're interested in kind of getting a taste in these. But I think these palettes are for somebody, like if you buy one palette a year and that's what you use all year for your face, 
Oh my gosh, please get one of these. These are amazing. You can refresh it every year if you love them as much as I do and get a new one every year. I truly feel like that's the type of customer that this palette would be best for. But you know, if you're thinking about getting these and you're a fan of the Benefit box products, I love these. But if you have a bunch of Benefit products, you like have every color in this palette with the exception of one or two. I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10. Big thumbs up though. Love them. Very happy with my purchase. Let me know down below what your thoughts are about these palettes. If you're picking them up, what you're thinking. <laughs> I really want to know. Let's get a conversation going. And so just remember to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a testimony for Sephora Squad. I will put the link down below. And of course subscribe. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.